This chunky little plant that I have here is called Falcaria tigrina, which means tiger's jaws. And this is a special little plant because I actually got this at one of my New York City plant swaps. And I also traded this planter, which uh, now I am blanking on the person's name, but if you're watching 365 Days of, uh, of Plants and you made this planter, I also got this planter from the plant swap. So I actually ended up planting the Falcaria right up in this planter, which is just really special. One of the things that I have to uh, share with, uh, with Falcaria, and this is actually native to the Cape Provinces area in like South Africa, that this has a very sensitive root. So you don't wanna overwater these plants because they don't wanna be overwatered and you wanna make sure that they have a pretty airy mixture. Now, when plants are often grown and you get them from the, the actual grower, they tend to have them in a little bit more of a peaty mix, at least here in the United States. So there could be a tendency to maybe like hold on to the water a little bit too much. So you wanna be mindful and if you want to, to take out some of those roots from that soil, then you could actually do that if you wanna transfer it into a little bit more of an airy mixture. The other thing too is that I don't really water this very much over the winter. So um, at the very least, I might do a little bit of spraying. I found that Falcaria, at least for me, have a tendency to attract a little bit more spider mites, which is kind of unusual for more of my succulent plants because sometimes I would see spider mites on maybe like an alocasia, which wants a little bit more humidity. This is a plant that doesn't need a tremendous amount of humidity, but for whatever reason in my home, it has a tendency to attract spider mites. So I've been a little bit more mindful and a little bit more careful because in the winter months, that's when it seems to actually hit the most. And I just do a little light spraying over the top of it just to kind of keep a little bit more of the humidity and to potentially get a little bit more water down to the roots so it doesn't fully dry out over the winter months. But otherwise, um, this plant is great. It has a really beautiful kind of aster-like bloom. It has a, this one has in particular has a yellow bloom. And, uh, and I could see like, if you could see right here, this was like an old dead bloom right here. And, um, and it actually blooms uh, fairly frequently, you know, not all the time, but I, it does kind of put out yellow blooms uh, consecutively, which is, which is quite nice. And these are a little bit more clump forming. So when I first saw Falcaria, it was actually back in Richard's greenhouse. So that's the crazy cactus guy that I highlighted way long time ago on my channel, probably now like three years ago now. And, uh, and I, I first saw the Falcaria and I was like, oh, what is that? It was very interesting and again, it, you know, it has these kind of jaw-like patterns. And this, this little hairs on the edge of these, of these chunky little leaves are actually there in order to be able to pick up some of the mist or the dew or the water that comes in in order to be able to draw the water down to the roots because this is in an area that has a tendency to dry out, um, meaning it comes natively from an area that has uh, very high drought um, conditions. And as far as fertilizing goes, I mean, you could get away with something like on a monthly basis and just a regular cacti and succulent fertilizer. So like a 347 or a 247. But this is Falcaria tigrina. <laughs>